When you hear this sound, that means turn the page. And now we begin our exciting adventure of... All right, baby. Go on, clean up, honey. We got a couple guests coming. What up, what up? This is Lay Elk here at One Youngster doing his thing for Chopping It Up Geek. And today, we're going to be cold chilling with my boys from the Atomic Podcast. My man, Ephraim. And Eve's the Cannon saying it. Introduce yourselves, brothers. Hey, what's going on? This is Eve from the Atomic Podcast, along with my heterosexual life mate, Eve the Cannon Sandin. What's up, Eve? So, even on other people's shows, you have to do that? Like, do we have to do that? Like, <laughs> come on, Sorry, dude. dude. <laughs> what's going on, Mike, man? How you doing, man? How's everything at Chopping Up Geek? Man, yo, things are pretty good, man. My boy Avery is out right now doing his, you know, army thing. So, you know, I'm holding it down for both of us. And usually on Cold Chilling, we, you know, ask people, what's their favorite superhero? You know, who's their favorite superhero? And, you know, why? But we'll save that to a little later because we got some news that I wanted all of us to jump into since, you know, usually we're not all together. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's what's up. All right, word, word. So um, first, uh, I covered this about a day or two ago but i wanted to jump back on it um because i try to make sure that i you know i look out and you know hold down for my black news uh <laughs> eddie murphy is going to be in <laughs> eddie murphy is going to be in this movie and netflix uh, with your boy brett ratner um for a mockumentary called soul 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 and pretty much what the film is going to be is a mockumentary about this old soul singer that ends up trying to kind of get the band back together to go after these new hip hop artists that sample his music. What type of crap is that? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I've never even heard of that. What? <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Wait, if that was the case, if that was the case, they might, have, might as well show that pilot from, from Beverly Hills Cop, the series on television with um, Brett and T. Jackson. Why, why is he doing that? Might, might as well. And first of all, if it's Brett Ratner doing it, please, he needs to go drink a bottle of ammonia somewhere after that X3 debacle he did. Man. He needs to not make any more movies at all. Yeah. And now he's going to make a movie with Eddie Murphy? Come on, dude. Like... Hollywood is just running out of ideas. I mean, I know that's trying to probably trying to be an original idea, but who the hell's gonna want to see that crap? Now, I'm holding out hope because Eddie Murphy is funny. You know what I'm saying? Now, Brett Ratner, the last time they worked together, they did that movie Tower Heist. Oh yeah. And I'm not. Gosh. <laughs> Tower Heist wasn't. <laughs> All right, Tower Heist wasn't the best Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah. What, what, well, let, let's be realistic here. What was the last best Eddie Murphy in the past ten years besides Shrek? If That's you want to count that, I um, I cool. You kind of got me, but oh, hold up. Wasn't when did Dream Girls come out? He held it down in that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, that, was a, but, that wasn't even his movie though. Right, like, right, right. He, he, he he was a cool character. Like character. I, yeah, I cool, cool. I, I'll give you that. It wasn't his movie, but I mean. He did, you know, he showed out on it. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing. You know, brother was acting and singing. Right. I, right. Ain't, I ain't ready to what? give it up for Eddie yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Still holding hope for Eddie Murphy, man. And I don't think, I don't know, like, Eddie Murphy, if he's not involved in a Disney movie doing a voiceover for a cartoon, like, you know, he, he the, I think the best Eddie Murphy movie was Coming to America, like, Beverly Hills Cop. Like, I can't really... I, well, what was the other movie he did? Was it uh, something with the finger? Gold, not Goldfinger. I forgot what it was called. Bowfinger with, yeah. uh, with Steve Martin. Now, Bo now Bowfinger yeah, Bowfinger was yeah, actually kind of aight, man. Come on, there were a couple laughs uh, in there. No. <laughs> there was a couple laughs in there. <laughs> So wait, he was like two people in the movie, right? He was like, he was like a nerd, and he was like the cool, he was the cool dude. Oh jeez. Oh. oh man, but I don't know. I mean, you look like you see, you're trying to remain optimistic, and I dig that. But come on, the premise of that movie sounds trash. It, like. it does sound like it, it. It has a it has a hill to climb. I'm gonna be honest. Um, but all right, yeah. cool. Let's jump into another joint that I've been waiting to talk to you since I heard the uh, since I heard the review. How do you guys now? Since it's been a little bit, how do you guys feel about X Men? Hmm. You, you, you want you want you want to start me or should I should I? Jump yeah, in? no, no. I'll, I'll, let me start before you give your negativity. Put my, about I'll it. put my swim cap in before I jump in. <laughs> 
No, I thought, you know, it wasn't a bad movie. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to compare it um, to X-Men The Last Stand, it was way better than that. Um, the movie, like, Apocalypse was more like a like a, like a a throwaway villain, but I love um, Cyclops. I love Jean Grey. You know, um, Sophie Turner was excellent Jean Grey. I just love, like, the whole um, Nightcrawler and um, the, the, the whole mystique, you know, having the limelight. You know, Wolverine, the Wolverine scene was okay. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a bad scene, but I would have loved to see more of Wolverine. But I understand because, like, if you're going to do an X-Men movie, you can't keep always the focus on Wolverine because it's not the cartoon like Wolverine and the X-Men. The movie is about the X-Men. Wolverine is a part of the X-Men. So it's almost like you get hints of his story. Like, you know, what I'm, like, we were talking about it before. Like, is he, was he in Canada? Because, like, when he left that door, it was snow out there. But, I, I you know, as a movie as a whole, I thought it was okay. I, I gave it, you know, I, I was like, like a, like a, like a, on a scale of one to five, I gave it like a three or a four. You know, it, was, it wasn't that bad of a movie. Eves, what about you? That shit was garbage. Can we curse on this? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can curse on this. I, I, I you ain't got to worry about okay. that. People have already cursed on this show. All right. Just want to make sure because I don't want to make my profanity fly away too much, but that thing was garbage. All right. Too many plot holes couldn't understand what the hell was going on for Apocalypse supposed uh, plan like he has every like all these supervillains have these master plans it didn't make any sense like everybody's gonna do he's gonna try to create a better world for them for mutants regardless of what Wolverine's scene was not needed it was not needed at all come on dude like that joint that joint was almost the definition of fan service like. thank you but you know it's yeah. like what you mean to tell me the whole time they're sitting there and they decide to go into Striker's uh, headquarters. Wolverine decides to break out and then they bump into him like they're walking up the block from a bodega and they just bump into Wolverine like, oh, snap. He's, look at Wolverine. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Well, uh, Homegirl set him free. You know, Homegirl, the one that unlocked the joint. You know what I'm saying? Because they was in trouble. So uh, Jean Grey, the one that unlocked the joint. But the movie... It just didn't It didn't do it for me. I, I, I mean, from to go from Days to Future Past and then jump into this movie, it's like, yo, it took a, and it's so crazy, you know why? Because it's like the first three X-Men movies, X-Men and X2, X2 was the best out of, out of all of them, and then The Last Stand was trash. To me, it's like First Class, Days of Future Past, and this movie. Like, it just took a downhill turn for the third movie. Apocalypse looked terrible, it didn't make any sense. None of his powers, he didn't, he wasn't, no character development for him as a, as a supervillain. It's just like, okay, yeah, he just switched bodies with somebody else, and now he's ready to come to over. And, like... One of the things that really... Who did, one of the things that really killed it for me is that they made it seem like he gave Storm her powers. And I'm like, hold up, though. Yeah, that's nothing. Yeah, I'm like, hold up, though, because she didn't need him to give her no powers. Yeah. And, well, I'll be... And what was the... Oh, go ahead. The whole purpose of... The whole purpose of... is It didn't make any sense. Like... Those four horsemen, honestly, were not needed. Like they did nothing. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Psylocke. Psy they got Psylocke from off the street. She was what at the the, the dice game with the guy, and he was the, I guess yeah. he was the bodyguard, and he he decided to scoop Psylocke yeah. up. I was like, I need you. Yeah, like come yeah. through. Let's just come through. You can come hang out with me. Yeah. Like, come on, let's Psy that. yeah. So I like was like the equivalent of Lady Deathstrike in X2. Like it was like that kind of role. Like well, you know, really at, least, at, Lady, at least Lady Deathstrike gave Wolverine a run for his um, run for his money in that fight they had. Psylocke really didn't really do much but slice that car in half. Yeah, this, like yeah, like that the, joint did have and they kept throwing it in the commercials. That joint did exactly. have some weak fights. Like that joint has some very terrible weak fights. Like me personally, that Quicksilver fight that lasted what two seconds because I guess he was that fast was whack. You mean to tell me Quicksilver is going to beat up Apocalypse? Like, punch him from left to right? He's that fast? Come on, dude. I, I was just like, man, eh. I'm watching this movie like, I'm like, no, no, no. They, they can't be serious about this. Maybe I'm watching this No, but that, but that, you gotta, you can't front, though. That Quicksilver scene, though, was excellent. And it then was wasn't Sweet Dreams. Better than, better, it wasn't better than the first one, but it was average. It was cool, but that's something one. that you could have released, like, on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Like, that ain't something and, that, like, I need to shell out, like, $12, $15, $20 for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, on to something. Oh, go ahead. 
No, I was like, but um, I'm saying, I, I said, I said, just like that, that key scene, like the Wolverine scene and the Quicksilver scene, to me, like were the standout parts of that movie. That's about it. Yeah, and he was—he's not that damn fast. He cannot be that <laughs> possible, but that fast to do all that. Throw the dog with the pizza, scoop everybody up from every room. No, no, no. He was fast because they showed the speed in the in um, Days of Fast. That was okay. It was kind of much more realistic. That was overboard. Yeah, like, they almost overboard. made they almost made him kind of like godlike in the Same, like, yo for real like it was like, OD come on like he ain't and I'm not even like yeah he's not he's not impossible impossible but yeah so hey oh. alright so uh, now I will say I'm not sure if you guys have gotten to see a bad screen or not but Warcraft is killing it overseas mm. you know what I'm saying it seems like folks is liking it it's killing it like Spain. You know, China, all these places, like people are just going out in droves to see this movie. Yeah. Um, are you guys more excited to see it now because the global box office is going crazy, or are you guys a little bit like, nah, I'll catch it on Netflix? I, I want to see. Me, I'm like, yeah, you want to see <laughs> Yeah, I, those teeth. I'm not gonna front. They look sexy on her with with those teeth fall apart. I was like, <laughs> like God damn, like wow, she's green too. Jeez. I mean, but yeah, wow, no. you like bestiality then. You like bestiality, yeah, like, dude. Call me bestiality, like if you want to call me that. But hey, listen, Paula Patton looked fine as hell in those teeth. And it was you that made me realize it was her. Was it today? Wasn't it today? You yeah, yeah, Times Square. Yeah, the and, then I, and then I realized that when I seen the commercial for it, and I'm like, yo, he ain't lying. But now that I, 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 it's actually, yo, to be honest with you, it's like now I kind of want to see it because you know I, I played the video game eons ago Word. eons ago but it's like now i actually want to see it now because it's kind of like the story looks like it's gonna be makes sense isn't glenn close in it too uh no that i'm not sure they got old boy from uh vikings on it they got uh dominic i see some lady with a hoodie i thought it was i thought it was glenn close like she looked like she had a little hood on her like um, not sure <laughs> yeah i'm not sure i know dominic not dominic toretto i'm thinking about fast and Fury, but oh god <laughs> <laughs> Vin Diesel as a troll. I can see that. Vin Diesel every day. Like, it's about family. Like, <laughs> yep. You sure me. Oh, oh man. man, he got to do it for his family. All right. Speaking of speaking of that, since uh, you know, you got Fast and the Furious, and you know, the director from the last Fast and the Furious is doing the new Star Trek movie. Are you guys Trekkies? And if so, what do you feel about the new film that's on the way? Well. Um, well I'm a Trekkie. He's, he's, he's a Trekkie, yeah, he's a Trekkie. Yeah, you know, and um, I'm a fan of um, Justin Lin. You know, he really reinvented the Fast and Furious franchise and changed it to this whole heist thing that's going on. Um, Star Trek, I'm, I'm not really I'm not really sold on it yet. Um, the, the first trailer was horrible. The, horrible, the first trailer horrible. It, it was bad, you know. Oh, like, the sabotage. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, Trash. there's no need for all that, you know. I like I have what what I like about it is I I try to avoid the trailer. I just saw that trailer and then I avoided the other trailers. So I don't really know what what's what is it about. I know some strange looking black and white alien, but it's, 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 it's what I like Elba. I think Elvis Elba is the villain. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the villain. Yeah, but yeah, like I say, but I like what I like about it is I have no idea what it's about. So like I'm going in like blinded to see what it's about. I have no idea what it's about, but I just didn't like that trailer and I'm just. I'm just waiting to see what, like, I hope it's not like some other time travel story. I hope it doesn't reflect like the old movies or it goes back to the prime universe. I just want it to be an original story. That's what it needs to be. Well, isn't Star Trek, isn't it the whole thing that Captain um, Captain Kirk always, uh, his crew loses faith in him and then his crew greatly gains faith in him and they overcome every damn movie? Like, isn't it the same thing? Like, <laughs> I don't, well, I, Come I don't on. know if that happens every movie. Now, I will say in this case... It happened the first movie. They didn't, they didn't know him the first movie, so he became, you know, the captain yeah. by default. Uh, and then the second movie, it, then um, Khan, they didn't do the same thing with Khan, and they lost faith in him. At the, and then he... It's, I don't know. It's just the same thing over again. It's just now they're in a different planet. It looks like they're exiled. And then it's like... Nobody likes him, and then they just like him all over again because they realize he's a strong captain. Well, from this, from, from the new trailer, it looks like he's trying to figure out like his place in the, you know, in the Federation. And when they get <laughs> captured, uh, old girl, um, what's home girl? Uh, dang, Aurora. Yeah, yeah. 
um, she's like, she's like, our captain's gonna come save us. So I guess exactly. Well, that means you know they trust in him now. You know they like this is our boy. You know what I'm saying? You know he gonna hold us down. Yeah. <laughs> what he need to do? Keep doing that. You keep banging all these. Was it yellow and green aliens? That's what he used to do it. They don't need to. They need to show more of that. Yo, <laughs> little Captain you know, Kirk I, was getting it in. Yo, Captain Kirk. It's family friendly though. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, they're not gonna have that much. Yeah, I, they, I know. They, My hopes. This ain't the old days. They they gonna you know they gotta freshen it <laughs> exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> you know, they got But remember, uh, for history history fans, though, first interracial kiss was on Star Trek. Yep. yep. Oh yeah, yeah, those two, right, right, right. You ain't lying. Like okay. uh, which one? Uh, what? Nichelle Nichols back in her day. You know what I'm saying? Don't sleep. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Fine, you know, she, fine. She was, yeah, kill, I, I she was killing the yeah. game back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still. What was it? The Jet cover? Yeah. The Jet magazine cover when she was on that joint? Wow, uh, I haven't heard Jet in a long time, dude. We hey, dated yeah. ourselves. Wow. Jet was like Jet was like the magazine pamphlet joint. Right, right. Those <laughs> small <laughs> joints. Oh my God! Now you took it back with that one. That's like the size of a soap opera book. <laughs> <laughs> soap opera digest? Oh man. Yeah. Oh, that's man. The same size. Yeah. yeah, all them joints was like these little baby books. Like you could get through it mad quick. You know, right, like, right. Let me just <laughs> it was like, let me browse it real quick. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But before we jump to the next topic, Jet Beauty of the Week though, you know what I'm saying? A moment of silence for that. Cause yeah. that that was for real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I You'd be, you be like, word. You'd be like, I wonder if she in, in in my city. Right, right. Never, never, never in New York. They was never in New York. Those Jet Beauty people. They was always in LA. That's what they were always at. Oh, uh, man. Now, uh, speaking of New York, last night I was treated to an amazing documentary uh, on Showtime for Stretching Bobito. Mm, and. Mm, mm. That joint, since I have uh, I have Hulu with the uh, Showtime, what is it, uh, like the, the Showtime edition or whatever, yeah. uh, the the documentary is pretty dope, man. And it, it like kind of, you know, chronicles, you know, from when they started to, you know, Hot 97 Days and all mm-hmm. that. But the cool thing about it is that when you're watching it, it is like so 90s New York. Mm-hmm. And like from someone... Like I'm from Virginia, so mm-hmm. I would the only New York that I would get is when I visited my family, like in the summertime, or when they would come down for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and bring tapes. And I would always get my cousin Richie or Tari or whatever to be like, "Yo, bring me some Ron G tapes or some Clue tapes or oh, some man, Clark my Kent God. tapes or something. <laughs> like, just bring me, <laughs> like you know, just bring me something." And like this, this documentary was dope, man. It had like you know. Nas, it had like Buster, like the video from Buster when he was like real little and young. Video from like you know the Fugees when they was first on there, like it was just crazy, like the the people that they broke, yeah, and the people that they you know the people that they put on the map, right. right. And for a second, I did want to stop, even though this is a movie, I do want to stop and talk about you know what do you guys feel about or what do you guys remember from like '90s New York hip hop? Well, I mean. First of all, as opposed to 90s and now, it's totally different. Like, yeah. the whole Times Square, the grittiness, the rawness. Yeah. It's just that you had people would be rhyming in, in, on, on the block. It's just like, it, yeah. you had the embodiment of hip hop just fully living, breathing. Now it's like a damn, it's like an amusement park out here. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's not the same way. And the thing is, I grew up listening to Stretch and Barbito on, I forgot what college radio they were on at first, before they actually made the transfer, when um, Stretch Armstrong made the transfer to Hot 97. And a lot of those, a lot of those uh, breaking, that they were breaking those artists, I heard a lot of it a long time ago. You had to actually put your radio, it's like the, the channel was so, like, it was so in between two stations. Cause it was a college radio, so you know, college radio was you couldn't just get it on a regular station like Hot 97 yeah. or Kiss FM. I don't know, you know, Efric, Kiss FM back in the days, like you couldn't get it. You had to put your little dial in the middle directly to get it. Oh my god, I, I remember that. Oh, yeah, like you, you couldn't, you couldn't, yeah. like you could. It was like right between, and like if you literally had to hold it so you can actually listen, and you know, you had to make your pause tapes quick, fast, back and forth if you heard something and it was not really too much commercials. But listen to that, I mean, I didn't even hear, I knew that the documentary was coming out, but I didn't know that it came out already. I was seeing it actually on online, but that, those two, 
and it's weird that it's a poor, it, it, it's a Spanish guy and a real Jewish, <laughs> a real Jewish Jewish guy that really <laughs> just really breaking hip hop. These artists like Capone and Noriega, with Tragic Gaddafi and, and and Big L, Jay Z, all made they pit yeah. stops before they went any place in hip hop. Straight there. It, it, I would have. I actually have to go check that movie. Uh, check that movie out. You said Hulu, right? Uh, yeah, it's on it. Hulu. Um, Showtime. Yeah, Showtime has like you can you can subscribe to Showtime through your Hulu subscription. So that's how I was able to see it. Like mm-hmm. they actually they actually got um what you call it? They got John Schnapp's movie up on there too. What's oh yeah, the Death of Superman Lives. What happened is really good. Yeah, yeah, I, I, saw, yeah. I saw that. I don't know if you, I don't know if you saw it, but I saw it. I, I watched it. Yeah, word, word. Like, I yeah, watched. Sure I like... Oh yeah, yeah. I peeped that. I saw it actually at the Egyptian when he came out and premiered it out here in LA, and uh, he had like Kevin Smith with him and stuff. It was actually pretty funny. And like Kevin Smith, you know, of course, you know, he got the movie coming out, and that it looked silly, but Kevin Smith can tell a story, man. Like that dude. Very, like just tell, very. just telling stories. The dude is just funny. But they, they, that's how we, Ephraim, that's how we started hearing about that death of Superman, of that movie they were supposed to. Because remember, he was telling it on like a podium somewhere. Because he was talking about yeah. how he wrote the, wrote the script and they had that that big spider head that was supposed to be was a Brainiac. Yeah, and they switched it yeah. to the Wild Wild West. They put it in the Wild yeah. Wild West movie instead. Oh boy. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it was a really good documentary. Yeah. I really liked that. Like, and then, then when you see Nicolas Cage, you see him with the whole costume. He didn't look that bad. Not at all. He didn't. Yeah. They caught him. They caught him with that snapshot of him with the, you know where he had the eyes glazed, like you know his hair was kind of disheveled, and they just caught him. Like that's what made everybody. That's what everybody saw, and it made it look bad. But after that, even besides that disco light, fucking disco, the disco light, oh, the um, disco suit, Superman suit he had, <laughs> like. It looked like he was a Studio 54 with that thing, there's flashing lights and yeah. green. I'm like, uh-uh. It was like Superman on acid. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, right. boy. <laughs> All right, well, uh, next up, uh, this year, we also, on top of Star Trek having their anniversary, Transformers the movie is having an anniversary. Uh, it's going to be 30 years since Transformers the movie came out. And they're going to come out with a special edition Blu-ray where it's all HD'd out and special features and all that. Now, I'm not sure... Wait, is, is, this, is this the movie? Is this the one where Optimus Prime literally dies? Yep. Like that one? Yeah, that one. Okay, okay. So, if you guys... were you Did you guys see it in the theater? No. Um, I, 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 I didn't see I've seen it on cassette tape back in the days. <laughs> I seen our VHS. <laughs> oh man, VHS man, those yeah. was the days. Yeah, um, I think I seen stuff. it on. Yeah, I think I what? seen it in the movies. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I think I did. Damn. I, I, yeah, I, I, I know for sure I didn't see it in the movies. I know I saw it on VHS. What, what, you, y'all seen it in the movie? God damn. Like I saw it in the theater. Damn. I remember being super young. I remember being that being like the first movie my mom took me to, and. I just remember seeing wow. Optimus Prime dying. I just remember being like, no. Oh, man. My childhood was <laughs> over. My childhood was over. I just right. remember being like, no. Yeah. And my mom was like, what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> Word. Like, and then, seriously? Yeah. It's a cartoon. I just, remember, I, just, I just remember it was because of Prime dying. Duke, you know, ended up being in a coma because he was actually supposed to be dead in, in the G.I. Joe yeah. movie. But since the backlash from Optimus Prime, you know, they just said, oh, Duke just fell into a coma. Like, how oh, the hell you knew he fell into a coma? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know what a damn coma was back yeah. in the day. Kids was like, exactly. <laughs> what? like, what's a coma? <laughs> what's a coma? <laughs> oh, he's just asleep. <laughs> he's going to be asleep for a long time. For real. <laughs> I didn't even yeah. know what it was. He just know Duke was in one. But jeez. They're gonna make a, a buy. so it's gonna be you're gonna be able to buy it. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I'm gonna uh, have to put the money aside. It's coming that. out on September 13th, and that joint I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped for. It. I'm be honest, I'm pretty hyped. I wanna I wanna see the the brand new HD translation and all the Jesus. Yeah, Christ. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty hyped for. I'm saying, but how how much how much but how much different is it gonna be from like the regular like you know. Like how how different is the transfer going to be? Well, that's the same thing I was thinking. I was just about to say that, I'm my figuring, dude. I'm just, I'm just about to say it's that. going to end up looking kind of like the original Dragon Ball versus Dragon Ball Z Kai, yeah. which where you know they went oh, back and like okay, recolored okay. everything wow. and like right, recolored right, right, it for right, right. HD. So I'm guessing that's what it's going to look like. I'm hoping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
So whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty amped to see that. Could work, if they have like a new commentary, I'll look forward to that. They have like new commentary and new stuff, but I'm sure they'll yeah. rip it online if anything. God, Jesus Christ, man. Support, yeah, yeah, you, you know, sound like you support these people, man. You gotta rip it online. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> Hold on. Now, not sometimes, so, well, sometimes you gotta support, sometimes you gotta rip. It, it depends. Like, this is something that you probably gotta support just for the fact that, like, you wanna show these studios that, like, yo, we'll still pay to see 2D Right, right, right. Since, you know, you got Disney and Pixar, like, yo, we ain't doing 2D no more. But then you have stuff like Ghostbusters, which, like, dude, you know, look. All right, let's go in and let's go in and talk about Ghostbusters for a second. Right. Check it. Ghostbusters. Sony is smart. Let me first say, Sony is extremely smart for making a atmosphere or creating an atmosphere where, if you don't like the movie, it's because you're sexy. <laughs> Yo, you know what? That's you know really what smart. That's really that's a really smart comment. I gotta I gotta give that to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's I gotta give. It, I don't like it, but I gotta give it to them because. Every time you see a, a news outlet talk about it, the the issue that they bring up is that people are sexist because they don't want women to be in the film. It's not the fact that maybe the film just doesn't look that great. Yeah. You know what I'm no. saying? It's because I, people don't I, like no, it. I don't even think it's that, to be honest with you. I think it's because they don't have attractive women playing these roles as the Ghostbusters. That's oh, a, man. And I'm going to keep it 100. Oh, like, wow. uh, the only one that's halfway decent, isn't that the one that was in, not the, not the girl that was in Saturday Night Live that everybody knows that was in uh, was in that um, True. that wedding movie? Christian Wick? Not, not Christian, Christian Wick. Wick. He talk, you talk about Kate McKinnon. B- bingo. Her. She's the only way halfway yeah. decent one I would actually like to look at. All the other ones, it's like, what the hell? You couldn't get a better cast so what of women? You, like, so what you're saying is, if the cast was like, uh, uh, like, mm, <laughs> like Halle Berry, like if the cast was like Halle Berry, yeah, I would take Halle Berry and, I, and Paula Patton, and and uh and like uh let's see like Sophie Vergara, oh god, and like, <laughs> <laughs> for real, like, you. Like, Tell me a, a like, lot of ectoplasm coming out of that movie, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, that joint, on. that would be a, Look, like. <laughs> but think about it. Now they have eye candy. They have the guy. They got freaking Thor as their freaking secretary to replace. Um, was yeah. Annie Pope? That does like Annie Pope was the uh, Annie Pops, was it? Right Pops. It was. Oh uh, yeah, Annie was Pops, the secretary Annie for that one. But they got freaking uh, uh, Thor as their secretary. Come on, like seriously, nobody's gonna pay attention. Like I'm gonna see it just for the fact of my childhood nostalgia because I love Ghostbusters so much. Me and Ethan used to talk about Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters two all the time. Watch it every time it comes on, but I'm gonna watch it with a nostalgia value because Slimer's in it. I even think I see Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in it too. But for yeah. the sake of them having a bunch of unattractive Ghostbuster women, like that black oh, chick, that's cold. Like that black, I don't know what are they smoking with her. She's, I don't think she's that funny to be honest with you. Like, all right, there's a, there's a, here's the biggest issue with the casting is that, yes, I will agree. And this is not a sexist thing, but no, they aren't known as the most conventionally attractive women. Hell no. But they're also not they're also not the funniest women. You Kristen Wiig is funny. Like she's funny. I don't I don't I don't think I've I've never really watched anything and been like, yo, she's killing it. Right. Like she Bright Maze was hilarious. Like I really Bright Maze found... is like ten years old, bro. <laughs> okay, all right. That's true. <laughs> like, that's Bri- true. Maze is like mad old now. <laughs> that's true. All right, I give you that. Like she done lost her she done lost her spark. Right. That's she... true. <laughs> what was the last she movie as good she as was she used to if be. I think about it? I don't even know. Um McGruber? Um, McGruber that, that fake MacGyver movie? Was, nah, that was oh, the last man, one. Oh man, McGruber. <laughs> McGruber is a it's like a bad Netflix movie. It's like a yeah. movie that it's like don't pay it's like watching on Netflix, you know but before you watch it, know it's gonna be bad. You're gonna laugh a couple times, right. but for the most part it's bad. But I, I don't remember anything else that she was in that was actually like you said, Bridesmaids was damn dead ten years ago, so it was like what else? What? Yeah, Bryce Mays is like mad old now. Yeah. I don't know, I the, 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 but the one, the one leading talent in that who's like the money maker is Melissa McCarthy because like all her movies so far has been in the, like the top ten. You know, like every movie she has that's been released. You know, with 
what spy she had with Jason Statham, and then she had. I think that. Uh, I, it, you, know, you know, it's funny that movie actually did pretty well in the box office, which was kind of crazy yeah. to me. Like, but yeah, like I'll I'll give it to her. Spy was decent. That was a decent movie. I, that was yeah. solid. Yeah, and she had the movie with um Sandra Bullock too. She's been in a lot of movies, and she's been on. Oh movies. yeah. Well, yeah, she's, know, the, she's the she's the, the headliner, right? She's the she's the top billing in that movie. In the, in the yeah, movie. Probably, probably so. Yeah, I think they're all like equal like, billings. I don't think one is on top of the other. I think they're all like you know, all oh, you okay. know, they all have to. They're all like the main cast. No one is higher than you know. There's like Melissa oh, McCarthy, yeah, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon. What's the black woman's name? I forgot the name. I don't know. Leslie you know Jones. I mean? She need to put a bag over her head and. <laughs> it's oh like Leslie Jones. She <laughs> Leslie Jones. Yes. Oh <laughs> man, I'm gonna get in so much trouble for this. Cut the top of the bag off and let the hair go out. Because I mean, that's about it. Man, I'm, I'm about to Eve, get in so much trouble. Eve, you don't think you don't think she's attracted to Eve? Absolutely not, my brother. Absolutely not. <laughs> you know I mean, I, hey, hey, listen, I'm not the one to call anybody yeah. unattractive, but I just wouldn't, you know. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to call anybody unattractive, but I've been doing it for like the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about, let me tell you about Yo. Ghostbusters, what I don't like though, it's like the way they're doing it is kind of like a, a, a kind of like a reboot in which they yeah. shouldn't have did it like that. They should have did it like Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, even though Bill Murray didn't look like he wants to have any parts of it. And give Ernie, Hudson, do it. give Ernie Hudson a job, my dude. Like he, all he does is go to comic book conventions and chill out. Like, yo, give him a job. <laughs> <laughs> give Ernie Hudson some work. <laughs> yo, Ernie Hudson, yo, he be riding hard for that Ghostbusters. Hey, for how many a times, trip about that. How many times we see yo. him in the comic convention every time we go? We see him yo, hanging out. Yeah. With a Ghostbusters. Yo, that dude, yo, give him he, some work. Like, you should have made it like. He's the most. He is the most Ghostbusters representative yep. out of like all these cats. Well, like the last the movie dude, he did was with the crow. Was that the last movie he was? It uh, was the police chief. Uh, the crow. Like, all right. I remember that? Remember crow. He, no, I'm surprised he didn't even win an Academy Award. He, he played Solomon. Remember he played a mentally what is it? Like he was. Like, oh, and person. what in hands that rocks the cradle? Yeah, yes. Oh shit. Yeah. Why, <laughs> why he didn't win an award for that? Everybody that plays somebody who's mentally. Challenge wins an award that he didn't win an award for that. I thought he was great in that role. But are you not supposed to go son. full retard? You only can go half, like like Robert Downey Jr. Like, the illest joint, the illest joint I remember about that movie is that Shorty put her titty in that baby's mouth, and I was like, yeah. yo, yeah. I was like, that is not your baby. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I don't like stuff like that. Like, <laughs> single white female, those are, those are too creepy for me, man. Like, bro, that was the illest thing I ever <laughs> seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Creepy. I was, wow. like, I was like, yo, I just oh. remember watching it like, that's oh. not your baby though. <laughs> yo, that was a memorable scene. I remember that. Tell oh, me. man. It, they, <laughs> need, they needed to, like the Ghostbusters, I tell you, they just needed to make them like apprentices to like the rest of them. And it took it yeah. from there. Because I think everybody's yeah, in the movie. I don't know if they, uh, Bill Murray's in it, but I know. Dan Aykroyd's in it. Yeah, Bill Murray's in that joint. Oh, he's Bill in it. Murray's in it. Like they need to make them better, but don't make them sit there and make it like a reboot and and, and uh, Egon and well, Egon passed away, but I mean everybody else is not there. Like, come on, it, it, come on, dude. Like well, seriously, the, the one of the biggest issues that I think a lot of people have with it is because people always wanted a third movie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That video and, game. I don't know if y'all seen that. There's a video game that I think yeah. PlayStation came out with that like took over from part two and it was like yeah and that could have been the movie i don't know if y'all are familiar with it but that could have been yeah the movie. i remember it i i copped it when i had the xbox the og xbox oh so you know what I'm saying? The, one I, the one i'm staring at right now in my house as we as we're speaking that <laughs> oh man has a bunch of dust the bunnies old... on top of it <laughs> like <laughs> but oh man but yeah like i remember like just being hearing about it and I was like okay cool they're probably going you know be like you know their cousins or like you know people they find and help them out and then they were like no we're doing a reboot so I was like I don't want that and nobody really wanted a reboot but yeah. we were like cool we're down for it let's see what you got what you get? and then they showed us a movie that's almost like a shot for shot remake but just with worse well not worse graphics because the special effects are better mm -hmm. but they don't look scary mm. like they look almost like haunted mansion you right, know what right. I'm saying? 
with like, like the, the, don't... The, the, the hologram the hologram goes like yeah like they don't look scary it looks like, it looks like a big you know, video game yeah and like the Dick jokes it. aren't landing in the in the trailer and it's just yeah. it's got it's these not four a unattractive thing. broads that are not going to make me want to see this movie and then it's like uh you know, I want to be like Bobby Brown, man. I want to get my little brother a, a, a proton, a proton pack. But it's like now I don't even want to care. Yo, man, Seriously. look, yo, yo, the Bobby Brown cameo though. If we could get that in that this movie, fine. yo, I nah, remember. Man. I remember when I was younger, being like, "Yo, Bobby Brown is in this." Right. <laughs> like, For the two, the two point one <laughs> seconds he was in there. Yep. I said, like I remember thinking, like that dude was going to blow off of this joint. I was like, yo, <laughs> <For real>? like, <laughs> yeah. well, didn't, like, didn't he do the song for the second one? He did the song. Yeah, for the second one. he did. Yo, yeah, it was too hot to handle, too cold to hold. Oh, they call it Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah, I remember that doing it for a and bunch then, of children. Didn't they the yep. Did they come out in the video too? Yep, they had a the music video they on it. They did, they did, they did. You're right. Now they're gonna have to get Bobby Brown out the crack house when they want to make an appearance in this. <laughs> Yo, Bobby Brown has been clean and sober for like two weeks. So it's so? like, did you, did you see? Did you see that interview he did? Was it two days ago? He told him I have sex with ghosts. I don't know, but that hold on, for real? Me. Yeah, double check it, man. You talk about how oh, he had man. sex with a ghost. That he looked like he he's he's a little filthy, man. I don't know about clean. Like I think he was yeah. back. Why got why? <laughs> this man oh, having no. sex Yo. with ghosts? Yo, I kid you oh, not, man. man. The, the interview I think it was two days ago or a day ago, if I'm not mistaken. He had Yo, a bad bat before he went on there. Like, oh no. Why? Who who interviewed him? Like who I called him? Who, up? It was on channel. I think it was channel seven. Or channel seven. You know, oh, ABC. Like, who called I, this fool up and was like, "Let's interview you"? Yeah, yo, because you know his his you know God rest the dead. You know Whitney and um. Bobby yeah, Christina, yeah. you know, yeah. but yeah, I guess he, he's uh, just the, the the scoop from Bobby Brown. But if you go like you go online, <laughs> go online, you can check it out. I'm telling you, he saw my he had sex with a ghost, and I'm like, man. what? It's cold oh, out there, man. man. It, it's <laughs> tough out there, man. For real, for real, for real. You know yeah, it's... Ghostbusters, two thumbs down, brother. Two thumbs down. Yo, I'm gonna see I'm, it though. But. I'm ready to. I'm. I'm ready for that joint to end up being like this year's Fantastic Four. Like that joint. Oh, uh, I don't I think it's gonna be that bad. <laughs> Yo, man, Fantastic uh, Four. Fantastic Four was so bad. Well, all right. First, let me let me be nice to the movie. The first like 20 minutes, I'm like sitting in the theater, like, what's the big deal? <laughs> and then this movie, then the movie takes this turn where it's like, what? Am I watching? Yo, that Damn. movie. I, I, I've seen bad movies like The Garbage Pail Kids. Like I've seen bad oh, movies. Like, like that. no, but that movie was terrible. Like yeah. beyond yeah. terrible. I don't know what they were possibly thinking with that. And give the thing some underwear too. Like why does he have to walk around with his Johnson out? Yeah, he like, was like he was straight up butt naked. Like, <laughs> the know, whole yeah. joint. Like, come on. Like, this is, yeah. Jesus Christ. They could do like Porky Pig. Like, that's a t shirt and just like let us. Like, <laughs> a t shirt, yeah. a booty straight out. Just right, like, exactly. Do yeah. something. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But that movie was bad. Was that movie. Horrible movie. Horrible movie. Yo, yeah, I mean, man. I did a review about it. I think one of the. Who, who, who came at my neck, Ethan? Like, they, they, they tried to. They try to say something about me when, when oh, I think um, it was who was it? Uh, uh, Todd Farmer. Yeah, because he's uh, friends with the writer. Like right, right. And, he, and he, I guess he heard the review and he didn't like what I had to say. I guess he got upset. But oh, word. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got industry beef, son? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> that was my come up. That's my come up to fame. <laughs> like, yo, catch me like I'm mean, like, yo, man. Look, your movie was trash. Like, ah, uh, no. He was like, what do you say? What do you say? He's a real dick move or something like that. He said, like, yeah, the, the, yeah, that's a real dick move to say. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. I mean, yo, listen, man. hey, I I, 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 mean, he, I don't know if you're trying to direct it to Ethan, but I was like, listen, I'm the one who said it. You got to say it, say it to um to Ethan. It was like I'm the one who said it, like. Cause I made my, uh, it was just my own um, Canon speaks, and I was just saying how terrible the movie was. Like, oh, yeah, Jesus man, Christ. Like, 
Cause Cannon gonna give it to you, boy. They're, yeah, like, man, Cannon, I'm not gonna hold. Cannon ain't, Cannon ain't gonna be nice like me. I was like, nah. like even with X Men, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, two out of five stars. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I could nitpick it. I could nitpick that joint down to a half star. But I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sometimes get... being nice. You see, you be nice, they're going to make an X-Men with Mr. Sinister, and they're going to have, uh, I don't know, Nipsey Russell do freaking Mr. Oh, Sinister. And you're going like, <laughs> to be like, yo, what the hell's going on? Yeah. And yo, and then you're gonna be like, Nipsey yo, I Russell, I almost want to see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sinister, right? <laughs> Nipsey Russell as Mr. Wow. Sinister. That's what oh, I've heard of man. Nipsey Russell in a long time. You be nice, and that's what's going to happen. The only thing I can like think that. of... The only thing I can think of is the Wiz right now. <laughs> just like him, him, in the, him in the Wiz gear, For real, but just exactly, doing, exactly. doing Mr. Sinister. You be, you be oh, nice, and that's what you're gonna get. Then you're gonna be complete. Like, damn, when X Men movie went down the drink of Nipsey Russell, Nipsey Russell. I'm like, oh man, trust me. Can't be, can't, you can't filter with these guys because they have to realize. Come on, you're in the business of making movies for entertainment. I mean, this is your job. Like, you know, we don't have regular jobs. Like, this is a job that you exactly like doing. You cannot put some effort into this thing. Come on. Yeah. Like, it, it, to have this as a performance, like. Well, the thing, the thing is, yeah. like, with, with especially as far as uh, X Men is concerned, it just seems like they were like, "Yo, it's X Men." It's gonna be good. It's like, yo, it don't work like that. You see, and that's the problem. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Like he's gonna give me what I want because Cyclops and, and, and Magneto is gonna be in it. And you know, Magneto's not a villain yet per se. So you, you just accept it. He's not gonna be the main but villain. But the thing is, like, it's the it same in like every that. movie. It starts out, it's like, up oh, Magneto being bad, and then at, at the end, Magneto and Professor X like, we good, and like that's the end of the, yeah, that's how right. every movie is. Hence, hence this last one is like. Magneto just backed Professor X up and he just went about his business like what? Like he didn't that's it? Like he <laughs> didn't just like, like he didn't just murder like half of the world like like seriously <laughs> like yeah, he just really you're just really let him go let him go like dude, that like he's just gonna be able to go back to Russia like dude really moved like moved around mad dirt and crushed a whole bunch of buildings and stuff killing all kinds of people and, just, like, and then dude just walks off like whatever like, yeah, like it baffled me. That's one of the problems I had with the movie. Like, you just you're gonna really let him go. You're not gonna tell him anything. Like, that's it. Like, okay, right, that's cool. No problem. No problem. <laughs> All right. So on to uh, some more black movie news. Uh, how excited are you guys for Black Panther and the blackness that is gonna represent on film? Like I told you, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wear my dark yeah, shoes and my poofy <laughs> when, I, when I go there. I'm gonna watch around a dashiki and a kufi <laughs> and not play around and be in that place because it's gonna be crazy. Yo, and it's coming yeah. out. It's coming out in Black History Month too. That's gonna be the blackity blackest black movie. <laughs> oh no! Well, my goddamn kente cloth to call it a day. I'm not playing. <laughs> oh snap! He said the kente cloth. Oh man! That's what I'm doing. Oh, he took it back on that joint. I'm gonna roll up in there with like a small fro and a Eddie Murphy Golden Child hat. And like, <laughs> like, like that, like nice, neat, wow. small fro, like that old Bryant Gumble joint he used to have. Right, <laughs> for real. Like he had the, the, the Afro sheen on it. Just let it, let it sit. Let it sit. Be like, man, that joint is mad. All the white, <laughs> all the white people are gonna say, "Well, they got their movie." Now, they right, right, exactly. And they go, well, "Yo, let me tell you." Something. And you know how, you know how it's gonna be too. They be like, "All right, you got this movie. Leave us alone for the rest of the year." Right, right. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> give, me, give us a little ten years. Like they did with Obama, like okay, we give you a black president now. Let's 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 relax now, okay? Yeah, you go about your business. Like you ain't never gonna see another one for the rest of your life, right? <laughs> so enjoy this right here. We're like I hope y'all have fun. Because, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical because you know, even though it's gonna be a Marvel movie, and you know, Marvel movies do they do great, but you know, seeing that it's gonna be an all black cast, I mean, I think they're gonna have like Captain America in it for like. 10 minutes or something because they, they, I don't think they're just gonna have it a, as an all black movie like but I'm saying they're in Wakanda they're in Africa why you think they're in they'll, they'll probably have yeah, they'll know. probably have Cap in there to break up the blackness real quick and you, right right you just cut it up in pieces like you know like a sausage like they're not gonna have it all <laughs> you know just us like it's gonna have to have it piece by piece you know it, they're gonna have Claw Ulysses Ulysses S. Claw is gonna be in it obviously oh, because yeah, you know he yeah. got his hand he got his hand cut off, so you know he's gonna have the sonic thing on his arm. 
but he's gonna be in it. But you know, it's not gonna be a per se whole black movie. But I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Brian B. Brian B. Jordan, right? He just signed no, on. Michael B. Jordan. Uh, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. I said Brian. I said Michael B. Yeah, he, <laughs> he just signed on it, which is gonna be dope. Like I mean, yeah, you got and Ryan the same Coogler. guy who did Creed is doing. Yeah, it. you got Ryan Coogler directing. You got you know what yeah. I'm saying Chadwick Boseman who like killed it as Black Panther and so Jesus cool. Christ, like yeah, man. Like dude like, was yeah. dude crushed it in every fight he was in. Yeah. Yeah, like dude was really wearing regular me. clothes and was still standing up to the Winter Soldier. Like he won't even wear yeah. his suit. Yeah. Dude was wearing like a T-shirt and some jeans and was like, "So, you know what I'm saying?" He was like, yeah. "I got this." So, right, best movie of the year yeah, so far. Good. Yeah, that actually he developed for, oh, for yeah, like yeah. It. The best movie of the year so far. Yeah. Uh, that Winter Soldier. I tell you. Cool. Now, I mean, it, was than, it was better than Will Smith's accent and Eddie Murphy's accent. All right. Hold up. Hold up, though. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Coming to America. All right. We ain't going to touch that movie because that's a classic. Yeah, I can't front you. I can't front <laughs> on that one. I can't front on that one either. That's a movie I can't touch. <laughs> now, Concussion. <laughs> concussion was, you know, he, he did his best. You know what I'm saying? He sounded African. Oh, you know, he sounded African-ish. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, come on. He didn't sound African-ish at all. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's me, but I don't see... Ever, ever since Independence Day and they started giving this guy $100 billion to do movies, it's like, yo, he's doing, like, he does subpar work. I'm sorry. I mean, he's Will Smith in the summertime and all that, but I mean, what the hell? Hold up. You're talking about like, Big that's... Willie right now, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, listen. I mean, I like <laughs> Will Smith and all. Granted, but, you know... I used to get jiggy with it also, but listen, man, he does some hard work. All right, he does some hard work. Right, Come see. on, listen seriously. All right, like, Bad Boys One, Bad Boys Two, both top. Bad Boys Two was trash. Bad Boys Two was trash. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? it was long. It was it, it was long. It, it didn't make any sense. It was just overboard. It was too dramatic. They was cutting pieces from what The Rock or what was the other movie that they had that they did in trans. What was the trans movie in Transformers that they took Michael Bay took from his other movie? About the Rock, was it The Rock? But it was like he, you know, Michael Bay likes doing that. He takes pieces from his other movie yeah. and throw it in other movies. Yeah. But he did it in Bad Boys Two also. Like Bad Boys Two was, eh, I could have did without it. Will Smith looks the same. Martin Lawrence looks like he had put mayonnaise on his pork chops. He got a little big. <laughs> like he said, yo man, like, look, yo, <laughs> he he got married. You know what I'm saying? He relaxed. You know what I'm saying? He just relaxed a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he, he did that uh, I don't know but also Bad Boys 2 I Robot was trash I'm sorry that movie was garbage like, yeah that was bad it wasn't I mean, it wasn't okay. the best it wasn't the best I, I give I give him Men in Black 1 I don't give him 2 and I don't give him 3 either you don't, don't give, you him, don't give two. him 2 2 was I nah was that the one with Michael Jackson he was trying to be Agent M that, was that one? Oh snap I forgot about that part. Michael was in one of them. Michael was in one of them. I don't know if yeah, he was the cameo. I think it was... Yeah, it yeah. was like a little cameo joint. Right. Michael was in one of them. I don't know. But I don't give him two. I, I don't give him two. I give him one. One, that was it. Like, he did a great job in one. But I'm just saying, Will Smith, uh, like, you want to... I mean, you want to hire Will Smith as an actor, but you're going to sit there and make him as an African? Like, come on, man. Go, go to Egypt. Like, you need to scout your role. Like, that. You can't tell me Chadwick Boseman, that is not a Will Smith level actor, can do a better accent than Will Smith. That's gonna make get all that money. Come on. Well, see, Will Smith had to do the accent from the man that was like in real life. Like Chadwick Boseman got to make like a he got to make up a, a Wakandan accent which doesn't really exist. You know, it's a little easier for him. What? <laughs> okay, that's true. But it still was an African accent though. Like True. he could pass off as somebody selling a, a Gucci bag in the middle of the street. Like I would believe. Yo, if man. I saw. Yo, hold up. <laughs> Africans still selling fake purses in New York. Like, I mean, oh, come on. Oh, that's all the time. Let them know. Five days a week. Let them know. Like yo, y'all <laughs> still. I thought y'all gave that up after like '98. You know what I'm saying? Give it up. <laughs> they, that's their hustle. Instead of, that is, yeah, instead of Michael Kors, it's Michael Boers. Oh right. man, it's cold. <laughs> See, I gotta get. Hello, man. I, I, I gotta good. get back to NY, man. I haven't been in New York since like '08, I think. So I haven't. I haven't okay, that's not that bad. I've been in New that's York in a minute, so you know what I'm saying. Is you know I get I can go back and see you know see some fake purses, 
you know, see mad, <laughs> see mad produce out on the street. I'm like, yo, y'all know y'all blocking. That's how the, it is, man. You know y'all blocking the sidewalk right now. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if y'all know. In other cities, they don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, don't do that. It's like it'll be selling no avocados. And stuff yo, the like produce, that. but the produce in New York be out so far, like you have to buy it just to get by it. You know what I'm saying? Just to right, get past right, it, right. you like, yo, man, let me pick up an apple real quick. And like, <laughs> you don't got no choice. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of different here for somebody else who sees it. That right. way. I, I don't even see it that way. That's like yo, it's such shit. a part of our nature that we just like, yo, okay, you, know, you want to get like a banana or something, you just go go down, go down the block. Like, that's <laughs> just how it is. Now, it's funny because I remember my cousins would come down to Virginia and be like, hey, nothing to do out here. <laughs> Like, Clubs closed at two o'clock like, in the morning. Like, like, they closed. There ain't nothing to do. They be like, we want to go to the store. It be like one. It be like one in the morning. I be like, what store are you talking about? <laughs> right, right. That's the only thing about New York. It's just the city never sleeps at all, man. It just never sleeps. Yeah, and see, as opposed to going someplace else. Even like, here, even here in LA, like LA sleeps. Like, if people will come from New York and be like, oh, you can't do this. Be like, yo, LA sleeps now. LA doesn't sleep a lot, but LA sleeps. Like after. About three, yeah. After about three, it's a wrap. There's a, I mean, you can still get, you know, pretty much food anyway. There's always a 24 hour spot, but for the most part, after like, after like three, it's pretty much a wrap. Jeez, like, man. man. Until you know, people got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like Times Square never shuts down. Like it just don't shut down. Like all hours Time- of the night, like everything goes on. Like yeah, just- Times Square. Man. Speaking of Times Square, how how bad is the issue with the people that are out there pretending to be Iron Man and stuff? Like, is it really that crazy? Like, like we, we see it on, like, on YouTube. Is it really that crazy? Or is it just, like, that's, like, once in a blue moon? Well, these guys, I don't know. You know what it is? What happens is that they put on these costumes and then the, they let these, you know, foreigner, foreigners or tourists take pictures of them. But, you know, you're supposed to actually pay to take the pictures. Like you supposed they they don't live they don't tell you that you know and I guess the amount of people that's in the picture if like it's Iron Man or Captain America or whatever the case is they don't let you know that you have to pay afterwards and they be trying to charge like twenty dollars per per character oh so, so it's they like, so what they'll do is let you take the picture and then be like I right, and it's like yeah, yeah it's like you like what the yeah, hell? I'm not paying yeah. and let me tell you something these guys get their costume from like I don't know the 1970s store <laughs> where Captain America was. Where the Red Skull was Italian and he got that costume. Oh, like, I mean, man. those costumes need a wash and set. It's so bad looking. Man. Like, the Hulk is horrible. <laughs> it's it, it just bad. Like, it's bad. Yo. You don't pay $20 to take a picture with you? Yo. And, like, and you're getting angry and upset and want to fight? Like, yo, I saw the crazy. drunkest, I saw the drunkest Iron Man on Hollywood Boulevard. I was like, yo. Why do you smell? Why do I smell alcohol from you? And I'm like five, <laughs> ten feet away. He's doing, he's doing the, the, the devil in the bottle storyline. <laughs> and, like, and like, dude is like hugging up on kids, like take a picture with me. And I'm like, whoa. Oh man. I'm like, no, no, get no, your me dirty. On, me on this, Mike. In, in Hollywood Boulevard, they do the same thing too, but it's like a bunch of different characters, right? Like, I like Marilyn Monroe and like yeah, Bruce Lee yeah. and what I see. Okay, okay, okay. Like, but yeah, now nah, down here it's bad, man. It's just like these guys are. It's not like quality costumes that you would be like, you know what, I gotta take a picture and show everybody I took a picture. Come on, man. You should see these. I don't even want them to stand next to me because if they have like a a, a costume of what, Elmo or, or, or what's the other ones? What's the other ones that be having these furry costumes they be looking? They have, what is it, like Elmo, Big Bird. Yo. Um, you have Iron Man, um, Batman, and the Penguin, and then you have the girls that paint the body paint their the breasts out, but then they have to take the American flag painted on. Oh God! <laughs> Hold up, so like, they I don't so they got like real to. titties out on Times Square? Uh, yep. Ass out, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the titties are out. They just have body paint over it, so it looks doesn't. You know, what I mean, I, I don't want to call it indecency, but you know, it's. Police, police is right across the street from where everybody does all this nonsense so it's not a I mean I know they got locked up I know a couple of those girls got in trouble because you know they were soliciting you know oh dude uh, uh, <laughs> yeah he's showing you a good time <laughs> with the with the United States flag now, now I will say but. this for you know the, to stand up for New York the times that I've been there Cause they, you know, they be, you know, they be doing y'all city wrong. The times I was up there, I never saw a rat on the train. I never saw a rat on the train. 
ever, ever. I don't know where these tapes for rats be like picking up cookies and stuff. Nah. I don't know where they be coming from because I ain't never, I ain't never seen a rat on a train. Well, you see, now, Dr. Course, Switzer got the pizza in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, I would only be in New York like one week per year, you know, when I was younger and probably only rode the train like two or three times, but still, I never saw a rat. Coming from saying? two people that has had ride the train every single day to go to work and get around, you see rats all over the place. Like, <laughs> they yeah. are, they are. You see more in the over. tracks. Yeah, the the tracks. that video, I think he's probably talking about that video with the rat hanging up on the guy that was sleeping. Crazy. Like, you know, <laughs> yo, yo, that rat was, yo, that wasn't even a rat no more. That was like a baby cat or something. Right, right. That right. was like, <laughs> Like yo, that was a straight rodent. That wasn't yeah. like a rat no more. That wasn't even that wasn't even a rodent. That was Master Splinter. <laughs> For real. It like was. yo, man. Like yo, you can't you can't just let rats crawl up on because nobody was helping them. Oh, that's yeah. Yo, right, you're so not cool. gonna help Diva. Trust me, you're not gonna help him. You see a big rat running up on top of that guy's shoulder. Chill. I'm good. Like yo, I'm, like, I'm like, uh, excuse me, sir. I don't know yeah. if you know, but there's a huge rat <laughs> right on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh but, man, like that's that's crazy. Like there's 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 some crazy stuff that goes on out there. But out here, you get the what you get out here is like like the crazy. And I know this is gonna sound bad, but the panhandlers out here are. I want to say they're more aggressive out here than in New York. Like New York, if you're like, yo, man, I ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? They're like, cool. Like here, they're gonna follow you for like a block or two and curse you out. Like, Damn. you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, like in New York, you know, you'd be like, yo man, I ain't got no change, man, I'm sorry. And they just be like, I. Right. They, just, they just let you go. Here, they gotta follow you and like curse you. And like, <laughs> I don't remember, crazy. there was this one dude, this one dude said somebody was like going to hell or something. I just remember, I just remember him cursing him. And I was like, dang, man, I want like that dude is like really coming with. He's steaming that quarter. Yeah, but here, oh, I don't know. Man. It's just getting like I was talking about it with E. Like it gets, like, it's getting bad. Like these yeah. people are really out there. We seen. I think it was today we was walking and we seen. What did you say to God? What did you say the two couple look like in the street? They were sitting there. <laughs> oh. It was like their honeymoon. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Yo, and it was like, I didn't want to laugh, but when, the way he said it, it was just like, oh, shit, I can't believe he just said that. <laughs> but the thing is, they had like a recliner, like a recliner. Yeah, a recliner I don't know. in the side <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> it was like a recliner. It was like, he, they were sitting up. Like, you know how it was like, <laughs> it looked crazy. Like, Yo, I'm just, and they I'm playing, just they imagine were homeless, this like, joint. Like, they just chilling like they at the beach. Yo, dead. Yeah. No, seriously, seriously, seriously. I, 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 oh man, it was just crazy, and it's just like it, it's getting bad. See, a lot of people are panhandling now. I mean, it's just. Yo, that is, oh, crazy. that's. Me- I mean, it's not funny, but that joint is kind of funny. Yo, when he said <laughs> that, I was like, holy crap! I could have stopped laughing, but I'm like, damn, I felt bad after that because, like, crap, like, <laughs> it's messed up. But yeah, it's bad oh, over there. Oh man. All right, so um, since we're about halfway through the year. Uh, what are you guys? I guess Ephraim first. What's your favorite movie of the year so far? Um, Civil War. Civil War. Civil War. Yeah, I we in agreement. Civil War for me is joint is probably like my favorite of the year. Like that joint is just like you know incredible, man. And, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. There's some inconsistency in Civil War. I ain't like either. I mean, yeah, but it's not getting twisted. But overall, that joint is the best of the year. Over. Yes, sir. Overall, yeah. it is the best of the year. I can't front, but it's just the, the ending. It's just I, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't like it. It just made me. Ugh. It's just that the whole Witcher Soldier killing Tony Stark's folks threw me off. Like I, I hated that part. Word, word. No. It's oh, like yeah. so. So ah, even, man. Yeah, even though you know that joint has you know its flaws, like it definitely it comes it shines through over what we've seen lately. Like that joint, yeah, and, and, and it, it blew Batman vs Superman out the water. Like you know the whole setup, what? the whole what movie. What was that? What's that? Oh, Batman Superman that came out this year. Right, I'm gonna I'm I'm say this and I'm gonna leave it where it is. Like I remember leaving the theater, I turned to my wife and I was like, 
I've never been so disappointed in a film that I was excited to see. And I was quiet the whole yep. ride home. Like that's how that's how hurt I was, man. I didn't say that's a word. Real is. I was just hurt. <laughs> Yo. I remember me in the theater at the end of the movie. Ethan, remember I turned to you? I was like, yo, they literally gonna really kill Superman just like that. Like, yeah. I was yeah. in there like tight. I was like, yo, I can't believe this. Like this is it? Like I was like, crap. And that movie wasn't horrible to the point like I expect apocalypse. Yeah, like- but it was just like, yo, I couldn't take that. It's like everything I saw in the damn commercial was in the damn movie. Nothing just, nothing yeah. was sitting there like surprised me. As opposed to Civil yeah. War when they held down Spider-Man for the longest, as long as they kept it. Like, and you know, everybody was shocked. Yeah, man. Like, everybody was surprised. Like that airport scene, man. Man, listen. With Bro. Giant Man, forget about it. Like, like. Like, it's, but the. At the at the core of it, it's just you have a director on one side that understands the characters and how they relate to each other, and then on the other side, the the director does not understand like the fundamental core pieces of these characters. Like he just doesn't. Like dude just wants to make a movie with mad you know fight scenes and stuff, which is you know cool, but that doesn't make a movie. You know what I'm saying? Uh, those Superman and like, Batman fight scenes, they were. They were average. Like, they were so subpar. Like, I mean, even when Batman was ha- hiding behind the tree at the end of the movie, at the end of the, the fight, oh. like, he, you know, come on, he's not going to fight Doomsday. Let's keep it real. Like, he, he knows his battles, but it just... Yeah, he was like, all right, y'all. Take care of it. I'll be over here if you need me. Like, <laughs> I can call the Batmobile if you want me to, but it's like... Well, see, the thing is, I thought he was going to run back and get the spear. You know what I'm saying? Right, but then you, but got, Lois you got Lane. Lois Lane. I was like, really though? Really? That's really though? Like, she yo, didn't speak. Uh, it's just like uh, so much inconsistency. Like, oh man, yeah. it just—I was just hurt. It was like like a little kid that like lost lost his last game of the season or something. And, and I was just hurt. Like, <laughs> it, it, it's just like I was just when me and Eve left, we was just like we had that look of like disappointment like we didn't couldn't believe it like what the hell was this like yeah. seriously like this is what we've been waited all our childhood for like no way yeah. like like nah i have hopes for suicide squad though that's the thing i have yeah. high hopes for that movie as opposed to this other movie because oh yeah most death suicide squad looks like it's gonna be good. even though they gave a pg-13 i wasn't expecting the rated r obviously but it it, it looks like it's going to be really good. And even Batman's in it too, which is a, is a plus. Where, where, yeah. So how, much, how much screen time? Well, we're going to see how much screen time he has in it. But well, I mean, I, just the fact that he's going to be in it, you know what I mean? It's like you can tell they're going to try, you know, well, mesh the whole, you know. I'm thinking because, you know, a lot of people were thinking that the reshoots were, you know, you know because the movie was in trouble. I was thinking that the reshoots might possibly be due to you know us knowing that Batman is probably something that was universally liked from that film I was like they might try to push you know put some more Batman up in this you know what I'm saying because right, that's the right. one thing people liked from BVS so they're like you know what right. yeah. All right, they did like this let's put let's give Batman like five more minutes you know what I'm saying let's- because I mean I was, I was reading and it was stating that all the dudes that got locked up to create the Suicide Squad, Batman put them in jail. Ah, uh, okay. He was the one who put them all in, like, you know, bit by bit, piece mm. by piece, he put everybody in jail. Yeah. So I guess, you know, when these guys are breaking out and, you know, he's chasing the Joker, obviously, it's the reason why he's actually probably in the movie because, you know, he has a part in it. Word, word. Yeah, man, like that, that movie is something that I'm definitely looking forward to. Pretty excited for. And that's in August, right? That's yeah, that's in that's August. In August. I can't yeah. remember what day, but um, yeah, when that when that drops, I'm I'm pretty hyped for it. I'm, yeah, I'm ready to see how that. Works. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Mm-hmm. And speaking of, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Now, I guess we can uh, we can leave off on a comedy tip, I'll, especially since I'll be seeing it tomorrow. Central Intelligence. Um, what are you guys' thoughts? What do you think? Are you excited for it? Seen the trailers? Uh, I mean, I think anything just... The Rock is in is gold. I'm excited for it, and I think it's gonna be a pillar at the box office. Yeah, I, ditto, ditto. I just think that you know, I think the movie is gonna be for what it is. It's just gonna be a. They're gonna probably be the new buddy cop movie. Like it's gonna be them two 
well, he's a CIA agent, and I guess this guy is going to be a uh, Kevin Hart's going to be. I don't know. He looks like he's supposed to be some guy that works in a company or whatever. But they're going to be like the new duo to be do do movies together because it seems like they got a good rapport. Like it's funny. Like you know, it's just like odds and evens. Like he's big, brolic Diesel, and he's small, little, and it's just they they work well together. It seems like it's going to be good for. I mean, as long as it makes money, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> And it's the rock. It's the rock. Yeah, anything he puts his finger on is gonna go gold, except the tooth fairy. I don't want to oh, talk about that. Oh man! <laughs> Why you had to take it except back to the, the Disney fairy. films, man? <laughs> hey, listen. Everything is not a win for him. I mean, even though he's he was what? How many minutes was he in the last Fast and Furious? Like 20, 20, 20 seconds? Like well, he was, was he, like, in, the he was in the beginning, and then he got hospitalized. He had that, um, that big Gatling yeah. gun he had at the like, yeah. You know, I that mean, was, the dude that was flexed Joe. and broke his cast off. That's how ill he is. Like, <laughs> and the dude is so nice, he can just flex his muscle and break the cast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the power of movies. The power of movies. <laughs> Yo, The Rock is a superhero in himself, man. Like he on there. Yeah, he is. He, he's he's a superhero. Literally, he's just a walking superhero. Oh <laughs> uh, man, well, yo, man, I enjoyed you guys. Thank you guys. You know what I'm saying for kicking it with me, chopping it up, geek. Uh, if I could, uh, Ephraim, you got any shout outs? Um, no, man. Shout out to you. Thank you for having us on, man. And um, keep doing your thing. And you know, Young City rules, and you know, movies <laughs> rule, and. Keep watching movies. Word, word, Ditto, ditto, ditto. ditto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, word. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Yo, it's been another good Chopping Up Geek. Hopefully, we covered enough stuff for y'all. Made y'all laugh a little bit. And also, remember, VA stay real. LA stay strong. And this time, NYC, what up? Yes, sir. Yeah. Peace.